It was towards the end of June in 1968 that we took four young men, Steve Webb, Paul Meehan, Paul Lutus and Alan Evans, to Woodhouse Park as prospective patrol leaders to start off the 38th. On that weekend, on the Sunday morning, we were joined by the District Commissioner who was very impressed at the way four young men could organise a meeting on a Sunday morning. And that friendship stood us in great stead in later years. A few weeks later we took nearly 20 young men to Woodhouse and that was really the start of the 38th. During that time nearly 400 young men and leaders have passed through the 38th and all have given great service. But particularly I must mention Keith Nicholas who started things off with me, my wife Sandra who helped start the Cub Pack and was a leader for most of its time, and Peter Klein who was the Group Scout leader for 17 years. Join us now then on this trip through history to see what's happened to the 38th over those 25 years. Our story starts in 1968 at Woodhouse Park, the end of June, when we took our four patrol leaders, Paul, Paul, Alan and Stephen to Woodhouse Park so that we could start things off. And here's Paul and Alan on the Sunday morning, I believe, sorting things out. Three weeks later, we took the whole troop. And you might recognise some of the names here. That's a, a West with the red trunks. Paul, Lutus behind him. And the one with the white shorts on is Mark Burton. Yet another web. This is Michael. Malcolm Leach with the sunglasses. Next to him, Chris Ireland. And I think in front of him is Tony Webb. And then, in 1969, our first summer camp to the Gower in South Wales. Here we have uh, Dennis Armstrong with a crab. We'd gone down to the seashore. And back at camp, Tony and Leroy Campbell prepare lunch. On the beach, it's Frogman Keith. This is at uh, Rossilli. Here, walking back from a hike to Worm's Head. And again, on the beach with Mark Bevan on the right. And then, a campfire with the guides. That was very much enjoyed. Here we are, walking down at Vasily again. Mark Burton on the left. And here, Alan Evans looks out to sea, holding some seaweed. And Mark Bevan, pondering what's going on. On the last Sunday we went on a hike to overlook the Bristol Channel and hold a testimony meeting. And here we are on the way. Tony and Alan. And at the end of camp we all posed for a group. We took 11 to camp. Wayne Hussey, the short one at the front there, standing on the right. And a few months later, off on a hike, here we are overlooking the Barrow Reservoirs up near Dundry. There's uh, many there you know, I'm sure. And then, a few months later, an activity in the Brecon Beacons with the four patrol leaders. A camp in preparation for summer camp at Woodhouse Park. I think that's Roddy Mittens in the middle there with our back to us. And in 1970 uh, we went to Gilwell Park. We have little records of that but here we are on the lawns near Buckingham Palace on a day trip out. There's Chris Klein in the centre, sideways view. And the baby being changed is David Day. 
1971 we went to Whitebrook in the Y Valley. Is Peter and myself having a squabble and Tony Webb overlooking and two junior members of the future troop that was uh, David and Steve Taylor. This is Roddy Mittens and a St George's Day Parade, Red Catch Park. Lots and lots of faces here. The pack and troop had grown tremendously. The pack had now been started by Sandra and Mary Nolan. And here as we scan across many faces. Paul standing tall there, this patrol leader. Margaret Fry, down the front, some of the young cubs. The smiling face is Robert Webb. A little later, the, a gathering to celebrate an award as the best new scout troop in this district. Here we are in the Culture Hall in Down End Chapel. Reg Farrant there, Bill Cooper. The long-haired one is Tony Webb and uh, Paul Lutus by the side of him. Down the front there's uh, Paul and Chris holding the shield. Jonathan Klein two seats along from them. And Michael Fry on the right sitting down. And then to Cubadoo 72, here's Robert Webb on the trampoline as a cub. 1972 at Ashton Court. One little West having a go as well. The first activity we'd been to, and Arkela having a hot dog. And then to Watcombe near Torquay, 1972, summer camp. Here's Chris Klein, enjoying his food. A lot of the records we have seem to centre around cooking. It was the only time that Skip had the time to, to do some cine. Roddy Mittens. Getting ready for inspection now. You'll see an amusing shot in a minute when somebody bends down. I think that's David Webb actually, with a split in his trousers. While some get ready, others just sit and read. There's Jonathan with his nose in a book. Jonathan Klein. Little David Day. And of course, there's always time for a scrap. And then a water fight. Where would camp be without a water fight? Tony getting everybody wet. And then down on the beach, Tony talking, he was a venture scout now, talking to the other lads before we went swimming. Here's Roddy Mittens again. And Jonathan Klein. We had fairly good weather that week. Well, meanwhile, back at camp, Tony builds his shelter using some polystyrene and some ferns that he found locally. There's one little tacky. And back to Roddy peeling the spuds. Well, one morning, Paul Norris wouldn't get out of bed, and so he was persuaded by the others to remove himself. And here we have Tony talking to uh, a German venture scout that he got quite friendly with. We were here at a jamboree, and there were about 2,000 there. And then, the following year, 73, we get ready for camp at Croyd. Here's uh, Debbie Day being carried down to the beach and a sand 
castle competition. John Webb on the right there. I'm sure you can recognize many of the faces that you know. We had 31, six patrols at that camp. Unfortunately, most of the cine film was damaged, but we do have a little record uh, of it. One young Jenkins lad having a go on the aerial runway. It was uh, watching this that Peter Klein broke his ankle. Here we have flag break and 31 boys in camp plus relatively few leaders. We had quite a difficult time because we didn't have enough leadership. And on the second Sunday we went off on a hike over the hill behind us to the beach. There's Robert Leach. Here comes Bill Cooper. There's Terry Fry standing by the gate. He was the group scout leader at Downend. And from the hill we can look down to see our campsite with a pretty big collection of tents. Down at the beach at Braunton. Here's John Webb climbing back over the gate on the way back. Well, that following winter we had a winter hike competition uh, in the Quantox. One patrol set out but were called back because they were told they didn't have the emergency telephone number. They th were then presented with a toy telephone and Julie copied 999 off it. Peter thought that was very funny of course. And then off they set across the top of the the Quantock Hills. That uh, winter we also went to North Wales to look for a campsite. Here's Kim Tacky and Jonathan Klein. And at this time the group was split into two. Down end uh, formed the 71st and did their own thing for a few years, headed by Teddy Fry. And uh, we have a collection of slides of some of their activities. They held a number of summer camps, including one at Whitebrook, where the 38th had been. Here taking part in an archery competition. That was a huzzy. This I think is at White Brook, but uh, I'm not too sure of the date. Two young Fallant lads there, Roger and Robert I believe, as cubs. And then a cub outing with our Kayla, Margaret Fry. And the cub football team. Here we see some of the leaders from both sides on a training course. And back to a summer camp. Teddy Fry's greatest speciality was building gateways. And uh, here we are in the Y Valley. And yet another shot of Cub football team. Here's one of Terry's ornamental gateways. He was a real master of these. Meanwhile, Keith sits down and does some administrative work. Another shot of Terry's ornamental gateways. And back to the 38th. Here, one young Aitchison at camp. Here we are in fact at Woodhouse Park and assistant cub leader David Aitchison.